morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been doing so very well. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you five really easy vegan breakfast recipes. I personally really enjoy these recipes for mornings when I am time poor but I still want to put some love and creativity into my breakfast. So yeah in today's video I'm going to be sharing recipes with you for a vegan breakfast bruschetta as well as a poached peach quinoa porridge, some vanilla and lemon French toast, some tofu scramble breakfast tacos, as well as the best granola I have ever made. Before we do get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, who are my beautiful friends at Skillshare. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, it is an incredible online learning community that encourages you to explore your creativity. I personally have been using Skillshare for the past few months and I have been finding great benefit in many different areas of my life. I've been loving learning more about getting creative in the kitchen. I've been loving learning more about growing my YouTube channel and pouring more love into that. And in particular, lately I've been really enjoying learning more about video editing and food photography. As you guys might know I am working on a vegan recipe ebook at the moment which I am so excited to share with you very soon but food photography is something that I have been mostly self-taught for so I have been really enjoying learning more about food photography on Skillshare and how I can mix things up and try new things. In particular I have lately been enjoying this class which is called Food Photography Creating Your Unique Story by Leela Sid and like I said been learning a lot about food photography for my ebook which I have been very much so enjoying. Skillshare is an online learning community that has absolutely no ads and it's only $10 per month on an annual membership however they have very kindly offered that the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box down below they will get two months free premium membership so I definitely recommend checking that out and checking Skillshare out and uh, yeah exploring your creativity. Alrighty thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video now let's get into the breakfast. Okay, so the first recipe we're making today is my homemade maple tahini granola, which like I said, is the best granola I have ever made. I first of all started by chopping up some almonds and then after that I put them into a bowl and added in some cashews as well as walnuts, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Then I also added in some chia seeds and then I added in a whole lot of oats. Then I also added in some maca powder, which I am just loving so much at the moment, as well as some salt and maple syrup. Then I added in the star of the show, the tahini, and then I got right in there with my hands and massaged this all together. If you're new to my channel, by the way, all of the full ingredients will be down in the description box below. After this, I put some baking paper, onto a baking tray and then put my granola on top and then I baked this in the oven. Again, all of the cooking instructions will be in the description box below. Once it was all done, I took it out of the oven and allowed it to cool a little bit before I served it. And then I put three big spoons of it into a bowl to have for breakfast and the rest of it I put into a jar to eat throughout the week. I like to serve this with some coconut yogurt as well as fresh fruit. I'm really loving strawberries at the moment. And then I always serve with plant-based milk. And this is a really delicious uh, thing to meal prep and enjoy throughout the week. Alrighty, so next we are making some lemon French toast. I love lemon basically everything, but lemon French toast is extra special. I started by getting a small bowl and adding in some soy milk as well as fresh lemon juice. And then I also added in some maple syrup. From there, I then also added in a pinch of salt as well as some almond meal. And I whisked this all together until it was nice and smooth. If you have a blender, you could also use a blender, whatever works best for you. Then I cut some thick pieces of bread. This makes four slices of toast, which I'd say would serve two people comfortably. So just keep that in mind. And 
I soaked these thick pieces of bread just for like a minute or so in the mixture and then I fried them in a little bit of oil or vegan butter in a frying pan until they were nice and crispy. And then I stacked them high, of course. So I've got four pieces of thick bread, topped it once again with some coconut yogurt, love coconut yogurt. And then I also added on some fresh fruit. So I've got some strawberries and then I also added on some peaches. And this was so, so delicious. You have to try it. Next up, we are making some tofu scramble breakfast tacos. And one of the best things about tacos is that you can realistically eat them for any meal of the day. I first of all started by putting some tofu into a small bowl and then I crumbled it with my hands to get that scrambly texture. Then I also added in soy milk as well as nutritional yeast. And then from there, I also added in some salt as well as onion powder. And then I also added in some garlic powder. You could also add in something like chili flakes or spring onions or things like that if you wanted a little bit of extra flavor. From there, I put a little bit of oil into a frying pan and then I added in my scrambled tofu mixture and then I just cooked that up until it got, I guess, thicker is the word, <laughs> until it got a little bit thicker. From there, once that was all done, I got three corn tortillas and I put them onto a plate and then I added on my tofu scramble. I also love making chickpea scramble tacos because I am such a chickpea fan. Uh, definitely worth trying that as well. And then for these, I simply just added on some sliced avocado as well as fresh cherry tomatoes. And then I also added on some spring onion. You could add fresh coriander if you are feeling something fancy. You could also add a homemade cashew cream. Uh, yeah, as always, I really inspire you guys to be creative with your cooking. Uh, watch my videos, watch other people's videos and find things that you love uh, and create your own masterpiece with it and something that you love. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this idea stemmed from me really wanting to have tahini on toast, but in a savory way. And so I decided to first of all, start by getting a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes and slicing them up. And then I also got some fresh basil. In my opinion, the superior herb is basil very much so enjoy it and i cut up the basil as well and then into a small bowl i put my cherry tomatoes as well as my basil and then i also added in some onion powder garlic powder and salt again you could add other herbs and spices if you like then i put some lemon juice in and i mixed this together roughly with my hands until everything was nice and well combined once this was all done i then cooked some toast i'm really enjoying this thick gluten-free toast from a bakery called marie anita's here on the gold coast but whilst that was toasting i also made this tahini dressing so i started with some tahini as well as some lemon juice and some maple syrup and that is literally it it tastes so good i mixed it all together until it was nice and well combined then on my thick gluten-free toast I added on the uh, cherry tomato mixture as well as a whole big drizzle of tahini and then I topped it with some fresh basil as well. This was a really unique and delicious and easy breakfast and I really recommend trying it if you're feeling something savory for breakfast but if you are tired of having avocado on toast. <laughs> No secret that I am enjoying quinoa porridge. Uh, if you've watched any of my recent videos, you have probably noticed this. And with this one, I decided to use quinoa flakes. So in a pot, I started with some quinoa flakes, soy milk, and then I also added in some maple syrup and vanilla. Then I also added in a little pinch of salt and I mixed this together and was so impressed by how quickly it cooked in comparison to oats. Oh my goodness. Then in a small bowl, I started by first of all putting some peaches. I just got these from the supermarket in the aisle where you can 
get the peaches in the tins and stuff like that. So I started with some peaches in a bowl and then I added in some maple syrup as well as some salt. And then I also added in some nutmeg and cinnamon. Again, you could up add other sweet spices if you would like to. Then I mix this together well before putting it into a pan over the heat. And I just wanted to cook these up poached them really well and caramelized that maple syrup and yeah it turned out so well once my peaches were looking nice and poached and nice and caramelized everything was ready to go so in a bowl i started by serving my uh, quinoa flake porridge i put this into the bowl and then i topped it with my poached peaches and then from there i added on once again, no surprises here. I added on some coconut yogurt. Uh, I'm using the Nicola brand at the moment, by the way, and I'm loving it so much. Then I sprinkled some hemp seeds on top. I love a hemp seed moment. And yeah, this was my really delicious and warming breakfast. Definitely recommend trying out quinoa flakes as your porridge, especially if you're in a time crunch because these things cook so quickly. <laughs> Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So there is five delicious, easy vegan breakfasts. If you try them at home, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see it on your story and repost it onto mine. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me and my YouTube channel. And I will see you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye.